Indeed, mourning a relative or a loved one in Ghana is fast changing. In the light where families are holding all manner of funeral events, gradually turning it into glorifying the dead, it is raising concerns of increasing cost and fanfare. But Evelyn Timmer steps out to find out what exactly it means to commercialize funerals in Ghana. Let's find out. Since past, Ghanaians mourned the dead by abstaining from food and drinks, a custom which was greatly respected. The body was not kept in the morgue, probably because there were no mortuaries necessitating burial on the same day or after a few days' time. Fast forward into the 21st century. Mourning the dead in Ghana is now more of a celebration involving the wearing of fashionable costumes playing of high-energy music and dancing. This, according to a sociologist at the Accra Technical University, Dr. Nana Obriya Boa, is due to urbanization and modernization. Funerals are supposed to be solemn because people might have lost their loved ones and how they wish they would have stayed with them a little bit longer here on earth. Now, the occasion to bid farewell to the deceased funeral is what we are talking about today in a Ghana Month campaign. Organizing funerals in Ghana in recent times has become very expensive and we're asking whether it is a way of paying respect to the dead or the funeral is being commercialized. The merrymaking habits of funerals today has become popular and widespread, resulting in some families running into huge debts because of its expensive nature. It is now a common practice for funeral celebrations to start from Friday through to Saturday to Sunday where a Thanksgiving service is held. And of course, the one-week celebration at which only close family members used to meet to discuss the burial arrangements has now turned into another fun galore with an open invitation to all and sundry who can make it. Aside going for outrageously priced caskets, family members order specially designed textiles to suit the occasion. Currently, funeral homes have taken over providing complete solutions. They pick the body to the morgue for storage, arrange and provide services for the entire funeral. We organize the paperwork, the medical cause of death. We also do uh, death extracts for the family. We do embalming, washing, dressing, beautification. So we really take care of the stress that a family experiences. Charges range between 1,500 cities and 12,000 cities, depending on services required. But there are other choices. We have developed a policy, a, an assurance policy. So the assurance policy really takes care of the entire need of the family. As opposed to a normal um, funeral policy where you get cash benefit, our funeral policy, you get the services and those services include the basic needs of your funeral. Despite such cost build-up, sociologist Dr. Nano Obriya Boa is of the view it is good for the local economy. If my death will bring a road to my village, it's worth uh, celebrating. If my death will lead to building a school, painting a house, providing jobs for the carpenter, it's not worth celebrating. You see, so we are changing our philosophy of life. He argues if every stage of life is celebrated, why not death? Look how much you spend on your birthday. You have commercialized birthdays. You have commercialized Valentine's Day, even just expressing life. You have commercialized it. So every stage of our life is business today. Nana Obriya Boa described death as a guaranteed market. As for the carpenter who makes the coffin, is guaranteed a market. The uh, motorheads is guaranteed. Go and see, they are parked there. This Friday, you see, it's a guaranteed market. All of us have been affected one day, and we get the money back. Lead pastor of the Cedar Mountain Chapel, East Legon Assemblies of God, 
Reverend Stephen Wengam said the expenses do not really add anything to the dead person but a satisfaction to the bereaved families. What these funeral homes don't do well, and that's the problem I have with event manage managers, they pick the price and they don't take into consideration the pockets of people. Look, you should be able to say that if I say I have 2,000, can you organize 2,000 funeral for me? It should be possible. Have different packages and say that whatever amount of money you have, we should be able to work around it. So, commercialization and to some extent, merrymaking may have taken center stage in organizing funerals in Ghana today, taking out the solemnity associated with the traditional ceremony. But one thing remains clear. The Muslim community, no matter the trend, has stuck to their belief, burying the dead immediately, and for them, that is also the way to go. Uh, how people have the belief. The abode is not here. No, now he belongs to other world. So we should quickly take him there. So there's no need for delay. But I don't see this culture changing. Clearly, funeral patterns have changed drastically over the years. But it remains debatable whether the additions are essential in conformity with modernization or needless. Evelyn Tinkma, TV3 News, Accra. And I'm sure that's a question we'll all be answering, whether the addition of these modifications brings anything to the dead person or is just for gratification for the family of the departed ones.